I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hymen. Throw that to the side. Hey, what's up, people? So, what are we doing today? Today, we're gonna play some more Walking Dead Telltale series, boy. And what happened so far is, uh, well, we got clamped at the pharmacy store. And I got clamped too by freaking Larry. But at least my boy Ken got me. So yeah, that, that was a, uh, how should I say this, a summary. And without further ado, let's keep playing. Oh, do, do I even want to talk to Duck? <laughs> I want to talk to Clam, but... Like what you looking at, boy? What you looking at? Toast. But you know what? He yeah, wasn't. that's what oh, I thought. And then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, get the fuck out, Duck. <laughs> Nobody so likes you. Uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. So, so you can't help you us. can't really help us. But, I know, it's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <laughs> Let me go deal with this. What oh, the man. hell does... God damn it, get the fuck out, Doug. What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Like my daughter? Uh, she's, she's fine. fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. <laughs> That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter, or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. Oh. I know who you are. He knows and I don't I give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Man, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> my dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Yeah, exactly. That guy Doug is dead because of me. Fuck Doug. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. Oh. Romance potential. Oh, that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. Oh, Chuck, works. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think it's going to be okay. Yay. Oh, bruh. Really? <laughs> God damn it. To be continued. Bruh. The next time on Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. This blonde no boy. More, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting his dick off. Episode two. 
The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead, A New Day. Based on the comic book by Robert Kirkman, Tony Moore, and Charlie Adler. Oh, okay. Can I skip it? No, I can't. Apparently, I can't. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. And if you want more content from me, subscribe to my channel. Peace!